Hey, what is up all my lovely subscribers? Welcome to another video. This video, I'm gonna open a brand new product, debut edition, first time they've ever had this. Capstone by Panini. This is a special box. It's a first off the line. It's not just your regular old run of the mill hobby box. This is a first off the line box. Order two of these off of the Panini website, Dutch auction style. Um, pretty cool product. I, I actually kind of like it quite a bit. We're going to get two autographs, two memorabilia cards in here. We're looking for ultra rare blue steel and graffiti case hits. Just to show you what these look like before we get into it is I opened one box off camera. As you can see here, that's the base design. It's pretty nice. I, th I think it's pretty nice. These cards are super, not super thick, but they're, you know, for just base cards, they're going to if you're going to top load any of your base cards or parallels or anything, it's going to take you, you know, some of the thicker top loaders like the 55 or 59 point ones. But there's your base design and we're going to get parallels. So you can see the capstone logo, the name, the rookie logo. You can see the difference here. I got a couple of Spencer Torkelsons out of my other uh, FOTL box. But the foil is all different colors. They have reds and they have silvers and they have golds and bronzes and things like that. So... That's what we're going to be looking for. <clears throat> I'm expecting to get hopefully better names, but you can see out of my other FOTL box, I got an Aust, sorry, Aaron Nola. And as you will see, this is like a high number design with the baseball, as you can see the uh, texture to it. We'll get a closer look at that when they're out, not in a case. But got an Aaron Nola out of 18, got a Jose Siri out of 19, and then a Tony Santillan rookie out of 75 so those were my numbered cards i've seen a couple hobby boxes of these open not a lot of numbered stuff coming out of here but you can see here are the hits an aaron ashby uh dual napkin relic there rookie got a jake mccarthy same thing uh i got a daz cameron was one of my auto hits nice big jumbo white jersey swatch there and then the best card out of the box, again, not numbered, but on another insert there, uh, the peak insert, is you're going to see a lot of mountain type of uh, terminology used in here. But a nice, it's just a plain napkin piece, but at least it's blue. Marlins there, uh, Jazz Chisholm. So pretty cool looking cards, pretty cool product. So we're going to get into this box. <clears throat> While I'm doing that and you're waiting on me to open this box up, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like like the video. I would really appreciate that. We're on our way to 500 subscribers. So we got 12 packs in here. We've got eight cards per pack. You can see there's the pack design. We got Tatis on there. Got a nice copper or bronze, brownish color design. But we're gonna get into this see if we can pull anything and right off the bat we've got ourselves a trout so check out the design check out the the shine a very refractory type of design and in true panini fashion they've got the same picture on the back as they do on the front of the card so we've got a trout base teoscar hernandez there's a nice spencer strider <clears throat> there's an acuna We've got a red parallel coming up here, Dylan Cease. There's a Cedric Mullins. Now these are these are cool, as you can see. These are, if I can get the effect on it, but you can see it's actually like a sports flick type of, of feel to it to get the, the motion. You can see it's kind of a circular motion. And then the player is actually smooth and kind of risen up off of the... Uh, surface of the card and those are going to be your high numbered I think anything over a hundred is considered a uh what is that i can't luxury suite or luxury something like that so we got cedric mullins in there and then brian reynolds and you can also get those in different colored parallels and we're going to get one insert per pack <clears throat> and we've got a deja vu here and we've got roger clemens and jacob de Grom. so it's got the the newer guy in color, we got the, the old school guy or the Hall of Famer in black and white on the back. So they're taking guys that are like the flamethrower, 
you know, so they're taking guys who have the same type of skill set, similar guys, and putting them on, putting them on the same card. Uh, who have I seen? I saw one that was, it has like Bobby Witt Jr. and George Brett, I think, have one. I'm trying to think of who else I got. I'm trying to think of who else. I got one with Ricky Henderson on it. I can't remember who was with him, though. All right. Next pack here. We got a rookie here of Colton Welker. As you can see, thickness. Like I said, if you're going to top load any of your base cards, it's going to take, they'll fit in a standard sleeve, but they will not fit in a regular size top loader. We have a red parallel here of Ronzi Contreras. And here's going to be our first numbered one. And it's actually pretty nice. Nice rookie. An under the radar rookie. We'll take, check him out. Jose Miranda. Rookie card. And that's some sort of a, I don't remember off the top of my head if that's a bronze or a copper parallel. But you can see it's numbered 17 out of 19. So this is what you're going to get. You should get a couple of these very, very low numbered cards out of your first off the line boxes. And generally the relics and autos are a little bit better, generally. But as you can see in my first box, I wouldn't say I got anything too great. But Justin Turner is our high number one. And then we have a nice Key Brian Hayes. And our insert. Got another insert here. Different style here. Dylan Cease, this is a Velo. So we're going to get some flamethrowers, some hard throwing pitchers in that particular set. All right, get into pack number three. And looks like we got a hit in this pack. We'll move it to the back. Yep, I feel it. And we're gonna use we're gonna use this card as a Colton Welker as a cover card. We flip it over. So right off the bat here, we're gonna go to our high number. We got Aaron Ashby. Here's a red parallel of our one of our high numbers, Matt Manning. Let me know what you think of the design. I think they're I think the design is cool. I've 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 seen some people saying they're kind of boring, but I, 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 I like it. When I opened it up the first time, I had no, not even seen, other than like the sell sheet, I had not seen them like being opened or anything. And I was pretty pretty pleased with quality control. It was pretty good. Um, anyway, overall, there's another one of the inserts. So, so far we've seen a Deja Vu. We've seen a Velo. Um, here's a New Age insert of Ozzy Albies. Pretty cool. Pablo Lopez, Brandon Marsh, rookie. There's a Shohei. There's a Ryan Zimmerman, red foil. And uh, it's going to take us to our first hit. Take Ryan Zimmerman off. Not sure if we're going to have an autograph or a relic because they're all on thicker stock, but we will soon find out. So, first. Oh, did you guys see the name? I think I saw the name. Joe Adele. And it is an auto. So our first hit is a Joe Adele. And I'm hoping that's not going to be the biggest name we get in the box. But it's a peak. It's a pretty cool looking card. We are not numbered. But our first hit is a Joe Adele. It's a sticker auto. And we got a, just kind of a plain, light, very light gray. Uh... Jersey swatch there. Hopefully we get a little bit of color out of one of these. I like to see a nice patch. I like to get the rookie. There's a lot of, I wouldn't say Joe Adele's a, I don't know, maybe he is a filler, but there's a lot of filler autographs in here that I would consider, that I would consider to be filler. Shane Mc, McClanahan. There we go. There's a nice one. There's a nice Bobby Witt rookie. I did not get a, Julio Rodriguez out of my first box. I did get this Bobby Witt card. As you saw, I got a Spencer Torkelson and a base and, and a red parallel. So we'll put Bobby Bobby Witt up there for now. We've got Romy Gonzalez. There's a nice red parallel. Josh Bell. And a high number, Gabriel Arias. That's a pretty cool one. How about a Jake Berger, rookie. And our insert in the pack is Nick Lodolo. So a rookie 
insert here below. Pretty cool. All right, get into the next pack. Let me know what you think of these cards if you've opened any of them. And, you know, for the right price, the the, the ho regular hobby boxes are now selling for about $120. And the way I look at it, $120 and you get four hits, you're paying like $30 per hit. That's really not too shabby. I don't feel like that's too bad. But some people may think otherwise. But I try to, I try to look at it in those terms. I try to look at it as, uh, I don't know what this thing is coming up here. That's a, a thin card. And I wonder if that's. Surely that maybe I probably got some Panini points or something like that. There's a nice Bryce Harper parallel. Don't know what that is. We're gonna move it. Hopefully I didn't get some Panini points. I'd be kind of disappointed if that's what those are. Reese Hoskins. There's an Austin Riley red. And what is this? Oh, another insert. Okay. So it's a big bang insert. Cody Bellinger. That's a that's a cool one. That's I think of all the inserts, that one is my favorite. And there's another one we haven't seen yet called Summit. But the Big Bang, that's a pretty cool looking card. Right there, we'll use that to cover up. We got Bryce Harper. And let's see what this is. If it's if it's points or something, it's on a I could be completely wrong too. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's just another insert. Oh, it's a no, oh, it's a it's our next auto. Okay. So that's why I had not seen one of those before. So it's a crown insert or a parallel. Or bleh, how about autograph? Let's try that instead. So Jake Berger, rookie um, auto. It's pretty cool. Cool looking card. That's why I wasn't expecting it. I thought if it's going to be points or a redemption or something, it's on a thinner stock, but it's on a, for this product, it's on a regular stock card. But. Pretty cool. So Joe Adele, Jake Berger. So we should have two relics coming up to finish off the box. Got Gavin Lux. There's a Glenn Otto rookie. Alec Thomas rookie. There's a Trout parallel. That's cool. Mike Trout red parallel. Then I flip it over here and we're going to have another low number here. We have TJ Friedel. So that's going to be a rookie. High number, numbered out of 20. Number two out of 20. Put TJ Friedel over here. So two rookies that are low numbered. It's, you know, it's not too bad. Flip it around here. We got Andre Jackson. We got a Kyle Hendricks. And our insert is a Bryce Harper. So this is an insert we have not seen yet. Crest. And it's a Bryce Harper. Pretty cool. Pretty nice looking card. All right. Next up. Marcelo Zuna. Wish they would stop putting him in sets. See a Suzuki rookie. Haven't seen that one yet. Mike Bauman. There's a Jose Siri. There's a JP Crawford. Trevor Story, Juan Soto, and our insert is another Deja Vu. And who do we have on this one? We have Fernando Tatis Jr. and Wander Franco. <laughs> Wander Franco rookie. That's pretty cool. It's funny that they use... It's funny that they have Tatis Jr. on the back. wonder if there's... Hopefully it's not Deja Vu with Wander and Tatis. Hopefully not, because... We all know what Mr. Tatis did, and hopefully we don't get any deja vu that way. All right, we got our next hit coming up in this pack. So we're going to take an Eli Morgan rookie here. We're going to put him on the back. And we've got a Walker Bueller red. And we've got another big bang here of Nick Castellanos. Nestor Cortez, there's a Torkelson base, another one. Really would like to see a Julio come out of here. Stephen Kwan, there's a Jose Altuve. Red parallel. It's going to take us to our 
Next hit, our next relic. Looks like it is a summit. Is it going to be one of those summit autos or new age autos? I'm not sure. Let's see who we got here. Oh, it's a peak. It's peak. Let's see. Can we tell who it is? Looks like it's a pitcher. Can you guys tell who that is? I don't think I can. Who is that? Matt Barnes. Hmm. Matt Barnes relic. Just a plain gray jersey piece. That's, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about that. Matt Barnes getting a Joe Adele, I can see. Jake Berger, I can see, rookie. Matt Barnes having a little bit of trouble seeing the, uh, see if we can figure out here. Got four packs left. We'll see if we can figure out which pack has the relic in it just from looking. We'll save it to the end. Can you guys tell which one looks thicker? Looks like that one is the thicker one. I'm not sure. Let's just go with it. Last box, I got three low numbers. Maybe we'll get one more low number. Got something else going on in here. Something different. Jaron Duran, rookie. There's a Gavin Sheets. Nolan Arenado, Key Brian Hayes, parallel. Let's come off the back. I'm not sure what that is. It's probably just some other type of insert that we have not seen yet. There's a Tyler McGill rookie, Cattell Marte, and an insert of Tatis, New Age. Colors are pretty cool in that. I like those. All right, let's see what this is. Let's, let's turn it around this way. What is it? It's Brian Reynolds. And it is backwards for what reason? I don't know. It's like a gold foil. It's not numbered. It is a high number, but I think they're just messing with me. Just, just messing with me. <clears throat> I would hope out of a, you know, a first off the line box, you would get something a little, something a little bit better. I do like the low numbered stuff. I've seen some of this. There's Juan Yepes. I saw a couple of boxes of this open and they got like zero. Zero numbered cards. And there's our next number card. And this is a really low number. 10 out of 18. Adolis Garcia. So Adolis Garcia numbered out of 18 is our next numbered card. And here's another insert set that we have not seen yet. Summit, uh, Alex Bregman. Foil design with the mountain in the back. Pretty cool. All right, last two packs. I think that's the one that's going to have our final hit in it. Maybe it'll be a big name. All right, here we go. J.D. Martinez, uh, Willie Adames, Connor Siebold, Tim Anderson, Still have not seen a Julio. Really like to at least get one. There's a Chris Bryant red foil. TJ Friedel. Another Chris Bryant. And the insert is a Velo of Carlos Rodon. And our last pack. Last pack. Let's see if we can get somebody good for our hit. Check it out. Edward Cabrera, Josiah Gray, and our insert is a Royce Lewis, New Age. It's a pretty nice one. Nice rookie there. Although it does not have the rookie logo on it. All right. Who we got here? Joe Ryan. We'll put Joe Ryan back here to cover up the hit. Reese Nair. Anthony Rizzo. Alec Bohm. We're not going to get a J-Rod. Two FOTL boxes. No J-Rod. Let's hope this relic can be something with some color on it. Maybe something low numbered. All right. Looks like it's going to be like one of those new age. Let's see if we can tell who it is. Can you tell who it is? Hmm. 
I'm not sure who that is. Is that Jordan? No, it's maybe Teoscar Hernandez is who it looks like. It's got some color on it at least. It is Teoscar Hernandez. At least we got, it's not just white. We got orange and white. So Teoscar Hernandez materials. So there you go. There's an FOTO box. Um, questionable relics. Hmm. I do like the autographs though. I do like the peak autographs. It's pretty cool. And I do like this crown auto. So not horrible on the autographs. Pretty happy with that. The nice Wander and Bobby Witt. Did get several nice rookies. But the Bobby Witt, just the base. Actually, I think that's probably like a silver maybe. I'm not sure. But the Wander and the Tati, so that's a deja vu. That's a pretty cool card. And then we got three low number cards. So you guys, let me know what you think about Panini Capstone. Do you think this is just going to be a one and done type of set? Or do you think this is going to hang around for a while? You think this is going to be an every year thing? Um, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you.